Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'll be showing you how to make our spooky spider jar. We're going to be etching and then adding vinyl to that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is find an empty jar, and um, we're going to paint the lid if it's not um, already black. And then we're going to take and you're going to cut out whatever you want to cut out. Today it's going to be spooky spiders. After you've gotten your vinyl cut out, um, instead of taking the outside off like you would if you were going to apply it to a wall, you're going to take the inside. So we're going to take out the letters. So you're just going to pick out the letters and make sure that you leave the insides of these um, the letters there so that it will say the word completely. After you've picked all the letters out, it will look like this. Then we're going to take the transfer tape and we're going to place it over the top. Press it on there. Then we're going to pull the back off. And now it will look like this. It's on the back of the transfer tape. Then we're going to take our jar and we'll just lay it over the top of the jar and position it however you want to. And then you're going to rub it on there. After you've done that, you will take off the transfer tape. Now the thing about etching cream is that whatever the glass, wherever there is glass, you want to make sure you cover it with your leftover transfer tape. So we'll take this and we'll fill in these sections because anything that the glass etching touches, it will burn a hole through it. So it's going to show up as a as a spot. So we want to make sure we do fill those in. When you have it all taped. You're going to take your etching cream and a brush and you're just going to make light coats over the top of the letters like this. Make sure that you don't touch this cream, this etching cream, because it will burn your skin. After you've put several coats over the top of it, you're going to let it sit for about five minutes. After it's set for about five minutes, we're going to run it under the sink to rinse it off with water. After you've rinsed it under water, we're going to remove all of the tape. And then we're going to remove the vinyl and hopefully it's done a good job. It looks good. Okay, now we just have to remove our centers. Now we have spooky spiders permanently into our glass jar and now we're ready to decorate the rest of our jar. And I've just gone ahead with the Cricut machine and cut out some spiders. So we'll peel back our vinyl. And instead of leaving that, the other, we're doing the opposite of what we did the last time by pulling the outsides and leaving the inside there. And then we'll take these spiders off. And for these, they're small enough that I won't have to use the transfer tape. We'll just pull them off and then place them on the jar. Thank you. 
Now that you've finished applying your spiders, it's ready for you to decorate and put a pumpkin or ribbon or whatever you'd like on it.